All right, you guys, you see me going through with my one and a half. I'm just removing the bulk. And this haircut, I'm only going to show you one side of it because I feel like I've been just so redundant with teaching you guys everything in the book. And it's just going to be easier to keep your attention with a shorter video. So that's the attack today. And I'm really going to try to just show you how I do this fade. This is just me doing clipper over comb. And if you are still struggling with clipper over comb, please refer to my previous video. I worked really hard on it. And I think that if there's any videos out there that can help you, that is certainly one of them. A lot of good tips and tricks that I talked about in it. But as for now, I'll just tell you, don't try to do too much at once and just use the best barber tool you got. Your eyes, save some work for scissor over comb and also your texturizing shears over comb so that you can remove those dark spots and leave yourself some hair to do it. You see me going in through with my skin line. I just want to say something about the skin line. It's not absolutely necessary the most perfect skin line in the world. I don't think that's absolutely necessary you can easily get away with a really good clean fade and you can adjust it later if you need to. So don't beat yourself up if your skin line isn't absolutely perfect. You can move forward with that. But there is certain stuff that's non-negotiable. Like the electric shaver, which you see me using right now, it's very important that you don't run your electric shaver straight into that line. If you run the electric shaver straight into that 5-0 line, you're going to run into problems because you're not going to leave yourself enough room to do the blend and the whole blend is going to have to come up a little bit higher. So Take the time now while you have your parameters defined and make sure that as you come close to that line, you stop a little bit short of it and you begin feathering and flipping that out and reducing that tension or possibly even coming down with the grain and that's going to help you to remove that so that you have a perfectly smooth fade from where your skin starts to where that 5-0 line is. This is critical because if you don't take the blend all the way down the skin, you're not going to see that smooth transition either. And you don't want to have to go back to this step because it's going to be a little more difficult because right now you've got your parameters defined. The whole point of this video, of course, is to show you how to do a clean fade with a clipper that's a little weaker, such as a cordless clipper. And in this case, we're using the Wall Magic Clip, which is a fantastic clipper. And I still think it's probably just as good, if not better, than the Senior, just because the Senior makes a little more noise doesn't mean anything. Put your first guideline in with your half guard, your 1 16th guard, closed. Why not put in the open taper line the way we always do? Good question. I'll tell you why. Because this clipper is not strong enough and it doesn't cut that well with the taper in the open position. However, this clipper cuts plenty good and plenty strong enough in the closed position. So what I'm basically just doing is using that knowledge to my advantage. Now I go back through with the open taper, of course making an effort to keep it on an angle or just use one of the corners to work out my skin line little by little. You're going to find it very easy to get this blend this way because it just sets it up so perfect for you and it allows the clippers to cut a little bit easier and a little bit less bulk. So that was kind of the whole process of me taking it down with that one and a half first which is also going to help it to cut a little bit better too. So you see me just going in with my corners and you see me just keeping it on an angle try to stay against the grain and if you need to you can go across the grain because that will take a little less hair and then of course obviously going with the grain is going to take significantly less hair and sometimes we can use that to our advantage too but in this case it's not really necessary just pay attention to your grain patterns if your clients grain patterns are coming down kind of forward then yeah you want to try to keep the clipper on that angle going against it directly if you can and that's going to help you to understand what you're doing and not all grain patterns are going to be the same. They're constantly changing and that's why you're always going to have one side of the head that shows a little bit better than the other side of the head. And it's absolutely true. Um, as slick as people want to be, no haircut is perfect. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just there's always work that you can do on a haircut and you probably don't have two hours to spend on a cut like a celebrity barber would. So in that case, you have to do the best job you can and the amount of time that you have. Okay, anybody who's interested in checking out some of the tools that I use, like this is my total favorite setup. It's battle tested. I've used it for many years. Most of the stuff here has been here for a long time and it works excellent. Go ahead and click that link in the drop down below and you can check those out. And I finally got some merch up on the channel and if you decide to scoop one, it really helps the channel out. If this channel helps you out and you want to support it and you want to see. So you see me going back through, I'm just about finishing up this part of the blend. And before I move forward, I always move back a little bit. So we're going to go back to the trimmer for a second this is very important you got to keep this on an angle because if you don't you're easily going to make another line and you're going to cause difficulty for yourself 
So keep that trimmer on an angle, just using one corner if you can, and just get rid of that line before you move forward. The next step, it's gonna be exactly the same. All I'm doing it, the only difference is I'm doing it with the number one. The one is beginning when the open position, and gradually I'll begin closing it as I lower it, and lower it, and lower it, closing it each time that I lower it and stay just underneath where I was, again, keeping the clipper on an angle as I do so. Now, remember, you put this line in with the half closed, which is relatively close to the open taper. So you know for a fact that the number one is not gonna remove this line. We just wanna soften it, we just wanna get it prepared, and then we're gonna go back in with the open half guard on an angle, and you're gonna see this line just get wiped out, butter smooth, and you guys are gonna enjoy fading like this. So give this technique a little try, and tell me if you like it, and tell me if it makes a difference. I found it to make a big difference when I'm using my cordless clippers, and even some of the corded clippers, because when I realized that they, they all clippers cut better with the taper in the closed position. Why? Because those two blades are closer to each other. So the moving blade and the stationary blade are closer to each other, which allows them to get that easy cut. But if that blade is set back further, as it is in the open taper position, then it's going to be more difficult for just about every clipper to cut. But especially a cordless clipper that doesn't have that much power to begin with, you're going to find yourself struggling in that area. So. Try what I'm saying and you're gonna find that it's gonna be pretty easy for you guys to get that nice smooth blend and you might actually start liking your cordless clippers a little bit more because ever since I've been sort of fading this way with them, I've found them to be a lot more enjoyable and a lot more usable and yeah, so all in all, it's been great. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. I'll see you in another video and I'm working really hard to bring you some good content so please subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm out.